Open your eyes, open your mind. We are the Wings. Wings. If your hand is holding mine, we can fly through space and time. And together we'll be sure by winners. Wings. With a smile you can enchant. You light up our world. We'll fly the moon they sky together. Open your eyes, open your mind. We are the Wings. It's a magic night. In our last episode, Tecna and Digit thought that Professor Avalon had a dark secret, but it turned out to be one of Whizgiz's magical experiments. Thanks to Avalon's magic, Bloom learned more about her past and what happened to her family. He is absolutely incredible. All he did was look into my eyes and he knew I was dreaming of my parents. Uh, really? Yes. Uh -huh. And then, with his magic, he showed me my family tree. Hmm. It was an unbelievable feeling. Uh -huh. And after that, Avalon used uh -huh. another spell and he... Sky, are you listening? Uh-huh. What do you mean by uh-huh? You know, you never ask how I'm doing anymore. Why? Are you sick? No, I'm fine, but you could ask at least. And it would be nice if you'd quit hanging up on me when I call. Sorry, but I was in Avalon's class. I couldn't talk then. But you always take calls from him, don't you? Well, Avalon doesn't go, uh-huh, when I'm talking. Really? He must be your true soulmate, then. Well, one of these days, you should try to be my soulmate. No, no, I wouldn't want to come between you and Avalon. Listen, Sky. the point is, I trust well, him. Well, you shouldn't. I find it odd that he helps you and no one else. <sighs> Listen, Sky. do me a favor, hang up the phone. Huh? Huh? What the? Great, now I'm stuck. could be a looker like Avalon and we're about to get physical. Yuck! What's wrong? You look as if you'd seen something horrible. Griselda! Will you girls ever learn to get to class on time? This is our magic self-defense class. Shouldn't our teacher be here? I am here and consider yourself lucky. Without a teacher of my caliber, you don't stand a chance against the tricks. The state of alert has been lowered at Red Fountain. You know what that means? Now is the time to strike! We will go and claim the Codex Master and will eradicate whoever dares to put themselves in our way. Then go and don't disappoint me! <laughs> <laughs> Now, you are up against an enemy much more powerful than you. This enemy has just cast a terribly destructive spell. What do you do? 
<laughs> well, we combine powers. Oh, too <laughs> late, Musa. You've just been pulverized into oblivion. Young ladies, what you must do is dodge the attack. Good thing she told us. Otherwise, I would have just stood there till I'd finally get hit. Miss Stella, since you already know it all, let's show the others how it's done. You try to attack me, if you can. <laughs> Okay, everybody, your classmate Stella will demonstrate for us how to launch a successful attack. Stella, Francis, get in line, please. Who does Griselda think she is, anyway? I mean, all we need are some tacky green uniforms and we're ready for the army. Uh, no, but really, an Althea fairy deserves a little more respect. You really ought to save your breath for the fight, young lady. All right, then, show me what you've got. Set up! Attack! Barrier up so! <gasps> Reflect shield! Oh. Oh. Uh. You should have dodged it, Miss Stella. Now attack all together! All right, let's go! Ah. Well, what are you waiting for? Digital glitch! Floral whirlpool! Bowering bees! Bowering me down! That wasn't an ordinary barrier. That magic? It was an immunity spell! Let's see her try to block my power jab! Ah. Bloom, it's our turn! Bloom! Huh? Yes, let's do it. She can't be invincible. Sonic Bomb! Yeah! Inversio Kiros Mob! Oh! She canceled out the sound with an opposing wave! Come on, Bloom! It's all up to you! Incandescent Sphere. Go! Bloom, is that the best you can do? Hmm. Bloom! Professor, what kind of spell did you use? Were you never told to raise your hand before speaking in class? Uh, sorry. If the tricks were here, they'd have torn you to bits. Now I want you to think very seriously about what you have learned here today and save your questions for our next lesson. Bloom, are you feeling all right? I don't know. I'm pretty out of it today. What's wrong? Something's bothering you. Uh, it's nothing. I was just thinking about Sky, and well, ever since Avalon came here, Sky's been acting weird, like he's suspicious of me. I'm starting to think he doesn't like me anymore. Every time he calls, he seems angry, and he becomes so critical. I don't get it. How can boys be so selfish? Sky can't stand Avalon, even though he's the only one who can help me find a link to my birth parents. I don't want to see Sky anymore. Don't you think Sky might be a little jealous? Jealous? Flora, I have no idea what you're talking about. Really? There's nothing to be jealous of. At last, the moment we've all been waiting for. <laughs> it's time to do some real damage. Ready? <laughs> she said she doesn't want to talk to you, huh? Let her stew in her own juice. Then 71, that's enough for today. Bloom can't come to the phone right now. You may leave a message after the tone, but not if it's you, Sky. Magic makes automated message systems so frustrating. <sighs> Bloom only wants to talk to me when she needs something from me. Uh, Girls are so guy? selfish, it's unreal. If she thinks I'll let her push me around, she's got another- Sky, th look out! Huh? Ah! Torta, Mayday, we're under attack! Thanks for coming with me, you guys. I'm sure all you and Sky need is direct verbal contact. Easy for you to say, you and Timmy never argue, and you know he'll never let you down. Sky, on the other hand, shouldn't even be given time out of Red Fountain. Hey, what's going on over there? Hmm. Huh? The tricks are behind this, I just know it. We gotta go. 
Come on, let's hurry. Specialists, Alpha alert. An unidentified object has launched an attack on Red Fountain. I repeat, an unidentified object has launched an attack on Red Fountain. We are under attack. Get your lasers ready for a strafing run. Sky, it's looking for a fight. I'm taking it on. Sky, Brandon, draw the enemy fire away from the school. Roger that. Analysis of the sphere shows massive potential, but it's holding back electromagnetic power. Coda Torta, I'd recognize Darcy's style anywhere. That sphere is just deployed to divert our attention. I should have known the tricks would be back. They'll be trying to get to the basement levels. They're after the Codex. All senior guards to the Codex room ready for battle. First year specialists, mount your dragons and defend access to lower levels. Coda Torta, the spear stopped attacking. What do we do? Position yourselves over the lake. The tricks might strike from there. Coda Torta, Bloom, Flora, and Tecna are here. They are offering to help. Oh, hi, girls. Thank you for the offer, but please sit tight and let us specialists handle the situation. Dragon Riders, radial formation. Begin reconnaissance. Brandon, see anything suspicious? Not yet. is in danger. This is no time for me to be angry with Sky. There's a gaping hole in the roof of the arena. What? Huh? It's the tricks. Everyone go. Use whatever means necessary. They must be stopped. Come on. Hey, Timmy, aren't you coming to fight with us? No, Tecna. My place is here. Oh, Timmy. Huh? Sky, we don't have time for lovers' spat. You're right, Riven. Let's go. Follow me. I know exactly where the Kodak is. <laughs> <laughs> Go to Torta! The elevator's stuck! We can't back huh? up Sky! Riven! Thanks! Let's go! Spencer, come with me! Hey, huh? where would they go? Over here! <laughs> <laughs> Brandon, the tricks are headed for hangar G4. Can we get air support? It'll be my pleasure, lover boy. Hmm. This must be the armory. We gotta destroy those weapons. Oh, shut up, Stormy. We don't have hmm. time for this. <laughs> Welcome to Red Fountain. Multiplicator Serialis! <laughs> Fear of Midnight! Hold it! Huh? Well, who's my next little hero? You're going down. Magic Wings! We go down! Stormy, have a little fun, but don't get too carried away. Yeah, take this! Aha! Chain lightning! no! Bloom, uh -huh. I'll take care of her. You guys go after the tricks. You all right? Come on! 
Sky, the tricks are getting near the Codex room. Go straight there, you might beat them to it. Thanks, Timmy. This is the shortcut, come on! Over there, I see one! Floral Whirlpool! I hate flowers. Ah! Back in no time. Huh? Look over there. right now you just gotta trust me come on let's hurry these scales are the key which will give us access to the codex shall we do this my way go ahead smash stuff it always works mega lightning storm uh, what's wrong stormy huh? oh. Oh. stormy oh. brilliant as always Anyone could have guessed that it's booby-trapped. I'd say it's some kind of balancing act. Find the right weight and the door opens. And the balance must be achieved using one of these things. I oh. bet they all trigger lethal traps, except for one. That was too close for comfort. Mm. The counterweight is pretty heavy, so the stone looks like the logical choice. But that's too obvious. Then it must be its opposite. The feather. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. This is your show. And anyway, I'm sure you want to be the one to unlock the codex. Oh, you're a backstabbing coward, Darcy. And I love you for that. <clears throat> Go ahead, put the feather in, or I'll cut you into tiny ice cubes. <sighs> I see. Oh. Stop, you witch. You again? Ooh, I'm scared now. <sighs> Black icicle! <gasps> Leave her to me. Uh. All right, way to go, Timmy. That's enough. Tornado Thunder! <laughs> the power of the Gloomix makes this almost boring. The weight of red fountain. Physical weight, moral weight, magical weight, weightlessness, economic weight, social weight, military weight, the weight of knowledge, and the weight of communication. Hmm. The specialists are masters of weapons. It must be the sword, but that would be too easy. Now Saladin's a wizard. It could be the crystal. Wait! That pompous red fountain attitude, the moral weight, unreal. I have to follow the path of morality. Well, I guess the ends justify the means. Quadrant of the Codex. Uh, mm. oh, oh no! Sky! <gasps> stop this horrible noise! Stop it! Uh, huh? Make it stop! What's going on, Darcy? What are you doing? Hands off the Codex! Sorry, little bug. Did I hurt you? How did you do that? You move so fast. All right, we have the codex now. Let's get out of here. Huh? Don't move. Stay right there. Come on, Timmy. You've got the drop on them. Oh no, Sky. What did she do to you? Uh, Sky. <gasps> well, what have we here? Another boy who wants to play hero. Come on, Timmy. Stop them. 
With their new powers, the <laughs> tricks can't be beaten. How many times do I have to beat you? I could sacrifice myself, but it wouldn't help anybody. All we can do is find a way to beat them before the next battle. Oh, Timmy! Why? How could you let them go? You're a coward! Tecna! No, I don't believe it. This is not happening, Sky. Please say something. <sighs> he has no pulse. His heart has stopped. <laughs> <laughs> Please, Sky, don't do this to me. Open your eyes, I beg you. Please don't leave me. This cannot be the end. I love you. It's not the end. It's from within Bloom. I've never felt such powerful magic. Sky, you're alive! Bloom actually made a miracle happen! Uh, Bloom! Uh, Thank you, Bloom. Uh, I've been stupid. In our next episode of Winx Club, the Pixies are struck by an evil spell that makes them homesick. Bloom must race against time to stop them. <laughs>